Yeah, y'all doing one of my old mixes, y'all. I'm like, all right, I'm putting these glasses on in honor of the honoree. Also, I need to say this too. You can hear me on Holy Culture Radio Monday through Friday from 6 to 8 every night. Okay. All right, okay, here we go. There are not many times that you actually get the opportunity to present an award to a true friend. And uh, let's be clear, this brother that I present this award to is definitely a true friend. Um, I know he's my friend because whenever I'm going through something and I call him, his first response is, let's pray about this, bro. And we had one of those moments about a week and a half ago, and I'm thankful for him. Uh, he and I have toured together, uh, so I've seen his integrity on and off the microphone. And I could obviously talk about all the big songs that he has, the dope albums, his longevity in business and ministry. But the truth is, all of that is what it is because of this brother's love for Jesus, his passion for the gospel, and his commitment to live with integrity. Yeah, y'all can clap for that. And if, uh, if you're in a foxhole, this is who you want with you. He's a prayer warrior. He's a fighter. If you want somebody to share the gospel, this is who you want on the mic. He's passionate and he doesn't compromise. If you need a big record, this is a guy you want to collab with because he got bops. He got it. And a shameless plug, me and him, we actually have a song dropping in about three weeks called God Got Me. Just saying that. But King of Choice Awards, I need you to stand on your feet and give a New York City salute to the rapper, entrepreneur, preacher, minister, son, and my friend from Jacksonville, Florida, Brinson Wright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Will we be remembered by the positives that we fostered or the selfishness of our actions? For Brinson Wright, the answer seems clear. Brinson's legacy is and will be one of chasing God, baby. For more than 15 years, Brinson has been a pioneer for the genre of Christian hip hop. He has toured the world, collaborated with the most recognizable names in Christian hip hop, and above all, always pointed those he has encountered to the cross of Jesus Christ. His journey from a fan of secular rap to a devoted follower of Jesus has shaped his music, his ministry, and his company, God Chasers Entertainment. After releasing more than 10 studio albums, he remains one of the hardest working and most consistent artists that faith-based hip-hop has seen. His calling to spread the message of faith and redemption is clear to anyone willing to see it. Growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, Brinson was exposed to a wide variety of hip-hop. From Wu-Tang Clan to Busta Rhymes and Outkast, mainstream hip-hop captivated him as an adolescent. But it was Christian rap artist Stephen Wiley who left a lasting impact on him. A life-changing encounter with Christ at the age of 15 ignited his passion for merging hip-hop and faith. Doors were opened for his beliefs to inspire others. Attending Belmont University, he pursued a degree in music business. During this time, Brinson faced many temptations, but even so, God's hand was evident in his life. While working for an indie arm of Sony Music, he survived a near fatal apartment fire. In that desperate moment, Brinson cried out to God and promised to serve him completely if he made it out of the flames with his life. God brought him through the fire and Brinson has kept his word since. Becoming an ordained minister, he would begin to use his gift to impact the lives of inmates through prison outreach. It was during this time that God revealed exactly how powerful music ministry could be. This led to the establishment of God Chasers Entertainment in 2006. The imprint has released over 80 projects and rostered artists such as Ready Rider, Oatmeal, Nazareth, Sea Straight, and of course, Brinson himself. 
his debut album Escaping Me, which was released in 2008, to his 11th project Before He Cracks the Sky. He has dropped music that not only garnered attention, but has had an international impact. His record, Don't Rap No More, has become a certified Christian rap anthem that is known for its bold, in-your-face approach to proclaiming Jesus. Featured on platforms such as NPR, ESPN, BET, MTV, and most recently, AEW, God Chasers Entertainment has witnessed a level of exposure and reach that is truly remarkable, bringing the gospel and CHH to new audiences. In 2022, the God Chasers documentary was released and received 65 film awards. It chronicles Brinson's journey and the God Chasers movement. All of this started with a scrappy, never say quit Christian rap artist who was determined to showcase resilience in the midst of a dying hip hop culture. An individual whose legacy is well known and recognized. For close to two decades, Brinson has been a living example of what it means to be a God chaser. Through the highs and lows, the good times and bad times, he has kept the faith and has never stopped chasing God. Brinson is the epitome of a true Christian rapper, not just because of his bars or his music, but because of heart and his character. He is a man after God's heart, and that's why God has sustained him for all this time. So tonight, we celebrate you, Brinson. You are a real one. Thank you for never changing. Thank you for being steadfast. Thank you for all of your labor. Thank you for being you. So Kingdom Choice Awards, I ask you all to stand to your feet as we present Brinson with the honorary Kingdom General Award. Order like a drive through I want to mirror you. Order everything I do. Ignore every plan without you. Order my every tiptoe, every step I take, every plan I make. This is high it stays. Only most high I need by my side. His word I abide. I seek his face. I was teeter-tottering in my faith and wanted to go back 
and they, they, they bars helped me stay in the gospel. And I want to thank my label mates, Red and Ryder, who was the first artist signed to God Chases Entertainment and still with me now, and Oatmeal Nazareth and C Street and all the guys who came before them. And I want to salute the guys who came in the game with me and still killing it, like the Dre Murrays and the, and the Fidels and the, the Mouthpieces and Hison Lees and, and Mahogany Joneses and you know what I'm saying, like all, all the all the women rappers who's rappers who's killing it right now, you know what I'm saying? And all the brothers who came after me who killing it, the Scooties, the, the Miles, the Zay Hills, the Lou's, the 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 the, the, C, the childlike CeCe's, all these great people and every DJ, thank you. Thank you, DJs. I wanna thank Holy Culture, man. I wanna Amen. I, I want to thank every pastor who brought me in. And every every pastor that just said, go love on the people. And that's what I did. And I, and I tried to love on the people, man. And Christian rappers, I love y'all, man. I love this genre. I care. I really care about this genre, man. I, I, I want to see all y'all win. You know what I'm saying? I want to do for y'all what the people before me didn't do for me. You know what I'm saying? And just want to encourage y'all to chase after the Lord's heart. And, and before I, I wrap this up, uh, my, my 12th album is dropping. It's called Lord Prepare a Table. Lord Prepare a Table. You know what I'm saying? I, I say that's my, my Purple Rain album. It's the best album I ever, ever did. I, I hope my music has encouraged you to chase after the heart of God. I hope my grind has encouraged you to hold on to the promises of God. I hope my passion has encouraged you that you can get better with time and always choose the anointing of God over everything else. I would rather be an anointed rapper than any other type of rapper. I want God's endorsement on me. And I think the Kingdom Choice Awards I knew I wasn't supposed to get it this year. But God, but God, the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Kingdom Choice, you guys have the greatest event of Christian and hip-hop all year long, and I thank you for this award. I thank you for giving me my flowers so I can still smell them. And don't think that just because I'm getting like a legend award that the boy still ain't got it now. Hold on. I'm about to give y'all some Christ's word. <laughs>